Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept related to data unloading from Snowflake table to some external stage or some S3 location, right? So already in my previous video, I have discussed about this particular concept in detail with respect to CSV unloading, okay? That is the Snowflake tabular data we were trying to unload as CSV file format, right? Now, let's see how to do the same for JSON file format, okay? So, it will be little bit tricky. So, that's why I am trying to cover this particular concept. Sometimes you might require to unload as JSON and that time this concept might help you, okay? So, first step, I am dropping a database if exist, okay? It is executed successfully, then I am creating the database and then here I am using the database, okay? Then here what I am doing, I am creating a dummy table having employee information, employee ID, employee name, employee salary and the department in which the employee works, that department ID, okay. So, let's execute that and then here we are inserting some dummy data, okay. So, all these codes I will be providing in the description box or in the comment section, no need to worry about the code, okay. Then what we are doing here, we are doing select start from employee. So, if we do select start from employee, here you will be able to see that these are the ID, name, salary and the department ID information is perfectly present, right. Up to this it is fine. Now, suppose you want to convert this tabular data to JSON key value kind of format. Then how to do that in Snowflake? Let me discuss first. Okay. So basically that requirement is constructing object from all columns. So object is nothing but as you know, you might have done oops concept in your programming. So what is object? Object is having certain properties right so that is kind of you can consider like key value pair dictionary format so if you want to convert your tabular data like that way then here you can use object construct star from employee table okay so basically this particular operation object construct what it will do it will take each column name and their corresponding values and it will try to create a key value pair okay so let me show you that so if i just execute select star comma object construct star from employee you will be getting this kind of information okay so see id name salary and department id and here we are getting another column as a result set of object construct so if i click on that here you will see the same information department id id name salary is coming as json data okay so this is how you can basically convert the tabular data to json data object type okay right i hope up to this it is clear so this using star you can basically create object from all columns but suppose you want to do based on some limited columns then what you can do you can define the key and the corresponding value it will be taking okay like here if you consider this particular json department id okay how it is coming it is basically coming from this particular column name okay then here id how it is coming it is coming from the column name name also coming from the column name salary also so all these keys are nothing but column names but suppose you want to give some different key name, okay, not which is not equal to the column name, okay. Or maybe suppose you don't want to take all of these columns in the uh, JSON format, okay. Suppose you want only ID name and salary, not department ID. In that kind of scenario, you can specify manually, okay. That is select object construct. Then here you specify the key and corresponding to that, what is the value? Like unique ID is the key, okay. Then corresponding to that, the value is id column, okay. The name of the employee is the key name and the value will be the name column. Then salary band is the key name, salary is the value column, okay. So basically using this kind of way, you can first of all, no need to take all the columns. Number two, if you want, you can change the key name, then it will be not taking the same name as of the column name of the table, okay. So if I execute that, here you will able to see, here, name of the employee, Joe, salary band 85,000, unique ID 1. So, whatever information we inserted for Joe, that is, employee ID 1, name is the Joe and salary band is 85,000, that we have written in this kind of way. Okay, so basically using this kind of syntax, you can specify the key name, what you want and you can limit the number of columns. That is, filtering in column level, you can say. Okay, now let's see how to unload the data in external stage okay so create or replace stage here we are creating a snow simple stage url here we will be creating one s3 bucket in our aws account okay so here i'll be searching s3 and then here i'll be going 
and then here what I will do, I will create a bucket. Okay, so bucket name demo testing JSON. Okay, and I am creating in EVSS2 only because my Snowflake account is also in EVSS2, right? Giving all other properties as default, we are creating the bucket. Okay, so here we can put the bucket name, then here we need to put the credential, right? So either you can go ahead with uh, the role based authentication for creating external stage or what you can do you can use user id password based concept right so for this demo purpose i am using user id password based authentication but as you know it is not that much secure so i will always suggest to go with iam based authentication okay which i already covered in my previous videos in detail okay so let's copy this aws key id and secret key Here it is done. So let's execute that. Here it is executed. Now suppose we want to unload the data as JSON format. So here first we are creating a JSON format. Okay, file format created. Now here the default syntax we are using to unload the data. Okay, copy into external stage and this is the name what you want to give unload JSON testing from select start from employee JSON format. So as per this particular syntax what we should expect that employee table will be unloaded as JSON format because here we are mentioning the file format as JSON so Snowflake will automatically convert the tabular data to JSON data. Okay. So if I execute that here you will get error. What it is telling unsupported feature unloading of more than one column or non JSON values. Okay. So in case of JSON, if you want to unload a table, tabular structure as JSON data, you cannot simply use select star. What you have to do, you have to first generate that kind of key value pair and then only you can use that to unload. Okay. That is basically first you have to use object construct and then convert that key value, the tabular structure to key value kind of notation and then you can use to unload the data using copy into copy. Okay. So here, this is the actual C. That's what we are doing here in the select code. If you see, employee table is tabular data, but we are basically converting to key value pair using object constructs now. Okay, so if I execute that, here see it is successfully unloaded row unloaded 7 input bytes output bytes. Okay, right. So if I go here and then if I enter in this particular S3 bucket, here we are able to see the file. Okay, so here we will click on download. And then here after downloading here, what we will do, we will click on show in folder and then here we will try to extract, okay. So here we will basically extract here, we will click, okay, it is extracted. So this is the file just now what we basically extracted, if I click on that, here you will see department ID, ID name and salary, it is perfectly giving us key value pair. Right, so this is how you should be unloading the JSON data, not directly select star kind of way. How you do in CSV, okay? Similarly, like I told you, another concept for object construct that you can, if you want, you can specify the uh, dynamic key and take some specific columns instead of taking all of them, okay? So you can do so. Earlier, one we unloaded in this particular location, unload JSON testing, and now we change the name, unload JSON testing and custom, okay. So now if I execute this one, there basically this is unloaded. So here see row unloaded 7. Okay. Now if I go to there, in this particular place, here one custom should be created. Okay. See, unloaded JSON testing custom. So what I will do, I will download this one. Okay. And I will show you also that only the specific columns, whatever we mentioned, that alone is basically uploaded. Okay. So click on so folder and now here I will open this custom extract here okay if I open custom here see name of the employee salary band unique ID is coming but not the department ID okay and even the key names are changed because we have put in the select query in that way right so this is one simple concept which I hope will help you in your business requirement in certain context if you need to unload the data as JSON format or if you need to convert the tabular structure to some key value then remember this particular function object construct. Okay, very helpful and you can obviously explore more from the documentation link which I will be sharing in the description box. Okay, this is all for my this video. 
If you find this video helpful, then please like, share, and comment. Subscribe our channel if you haven't subscribed till now, and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos. Thank you.